Hey guys, welcome to the part 2 of the Appian 25.3 release notes. In the earlier part, we have seen that the major changes which has done as part of the data fabric and we have seen that how in the data fabric new performance queries have been added here new functions have been added there uh, how can we optimize the documents in our record type itself and new custom record field has been added there the record actions have got completely new design of creating it now it supports the multiple wizards and everything now we will continue our release notes with some of the more important features which has been added as part of the ai automation as well so the very first thing that we are going to see here is about the appian composer generate application plan so see here let's say that we are creating a new poc together now lead and his four or five team members are sitting together brainstorming the new application design how we used to do that uh, generally either we used to create in some of the external tools like figma or something or maybe some excel data model design everything but now you can do these things in appian itself as well so appian composer have been given which can help you to generate the application plan itself let's say that this is a library management system whether this appian composer can actually create library management system for us or not so here when you will go in the library management system the very first option is nothing but the plan here so here you will find that compose your application plan basically all the plan of the application can get composed and what is actually application consisted of requirements that is important persona very important part data model and what are the different screens and everything has already been covered here here you have to give a prompt to the appian ai copilot and it will try to create plan for you let's say that i have pasted a prompt for the library management system and i will click on send here once i will try to send this it will try to analyze the requirement and based on that it will try to create some workflow now here you can see that the library management system the prompt that i have given make sure that your prompt is very detailed and descriptive because if you just give some vague prompts it won't capture and it might return you like it cannot do at this particular point of time so see here i have given a prompt and based on that it has created some of the major requirements for that so let's say that i'm sitting with a team here and i want to uh, brainstorm that is what are the things i want to do so all these things we can complete here for example see what are the actions going to be book management so add new book update book information remove book view book catalog here in the book issue part who is going to issue the books search for books what are the track assigned book? what are the books already assigned there now in the reporting part as well it it will try to create the plan for that like what you can make in the reporting part and not only that it is not limited just to this point here here it will give you the persona we have given a persona like which will the persona so here you can see persona is librarian who issued the book manager is there who manages the book so here see librarian is there manager is there and student as well who will actually be one of the part of the library management system here now the data model part very important part it will try to create the data model for your application i'm not sure but i uh, guess it might not have loaded the data model part but uh, it also used to create the data model as well so i'm not sure why the data model is not loaded let's see the screens whether the screen have come up or not so screen is also not coming maybe some limitation is from the appian side as well for the community like not all the features are available at the fullest version it is anyway a preview feature so you won't be able to you know like do end to end here you can add a screen for example let's say that uh, add a book we can create a screen it will be a form here just click on add you can add this screen here once you have done that what is the advantage of doing it you can directly create all the objects from here itself so let's say like see three groups are there it will get created the next step is the screens whatever the screen happian has defined or you have designed everything will get created here and the data part with the data part is also there like so the data model will also get created here and you can just review all the changes and then you can distribute the change among your team members and they can start working on that so it is a very good starting point for any projects as well 
so this is the whole overview about the app in composer we can generate it we can invite to review we can transform the plan into the functional application if we have no idea about new functionality then this can be helpful like where to start some new functionality have come up here so this app in composer can help a lot acts like a complete documentation for the application better to give kt so when you are giving a kt session so see it will always be at a central place here the app in composer part any new person joining the team can directly come up here and they can see what was the requirement who are the person involved what is the data model what are the different screens they can just review the complete application at a glance so it will remove those bottlenecks as well so i hope guys the app in composer part is clear to you now let's move to the next part that is the interface part easily configure and preview documents in the file upload component i don't know like from how much time this has been one of the most requested feature because see business don't understand like when you just upload a image it won't get saved in the database and you won't be able to preview that that has been a major blocker but this time appin has configured this part in the interface part so let's see that feature in action here so there is a file upload component here if you try to upload a file directly it will show you the preview but it will only show you the preview for one document that's what i have seen here maybe you would have to configure some more this is just draft one part so here i have tried to take a file upload field here and here it is the preview document part when i try to upload a document here so here i have uploaded a image here and you can see that preview document is able to show the data itself here so directly you can preview the doc we don't even need the image field for the image view only pdf viewer it doesn't just show the pdf part it even shows the image part and if you try to upload a pdf it will even show you the preview for the pdf as well for example if i have uploaded a pdf here and see you can directly preview the document here without even saving in the database i have not used anything just one rule input is present here and nothing else and you can directly preview the document so this particular document viewer is now supporting the pdfs as well and even the images as well it used to support it here so i would we might have to configure a bit more to see like does it support in all the conditions or not so this is a very helpful feature which has come up from the app in end we don't have to do any extra clicks to save the document in the db then remove it nothing else like this we can directly preview the documents here now let's move to the next part the next feature is craft stylish and functional from the sidebar template so sidebar and pin templates have been added let's say that you you have a blank interface here so here you can see form layout with simple header which has already been present from the last one or two versions and here you can see form with a sidebar has also been added here if you try to add this form you can see that this is a sidebar component and you can configure it it acts as a pin as well like this will be scrollable but this part it will be fixed up here so every version app is adding new features and new ui templates as well to keep up with the changing requirements of the client because we cannot just keep on building some of the things which are already been 20 years old that's a really great add up here now empower user with an accessible message banner component so accessibility features have also been added up here preview documents before submit that we have already seen up here now more features for style text editor components so the appian has already an inbuilt styled rich text editor so if you drag it here in this one more features have been added here as of now we are not able to see that maybe it is also not available for the community part but in the documentation it is available for example see here we are only able to see basic feature like bold italic underline strike through but alignment has been added additional menu have been added all these things are not able to show in community so but other features have also been added up here now the next part is new design for the designing interface sidebar component we have seen scrollable components are also there so this we can scroll as well now the next important part here is async loading capability have been added in the components here so earlier only the charts have the async loading but the grids now also support async loading capability and even the kpi field also supports that for example let's say that if, for example let's say that you have a grid something like this one you just have to configure one part here in the grid that is a load data async so that only needs to get true here apart from that if you try to click on test it will show something like this one see async loading feature you can get it here same happens for the different charts as well we have already seen seen that this part but this is completely new feature for the grid here so that we can see that here now 
new type of performance in the interface has been added so in the interface when you are designing the interface here just before the test you can see the performance details and in this performance you directly you can head to the performance part and all the features you can see it there and not only that earlier we used to see performance trends in this particular settings part here but now it has been shifted to this one here so let's say like in the week how much is the performance directly you can preview from here itself for example week is there how many times it has been executed what is the average time what is the minimum time what is the maximum time all these details directly you can get from the performance tab itself so this is the part which has been added even for the kpa so this kpa has been created from the card layout it has not been created from the kpa field here if it was from kpa field we can use that as well so here you can see these are the kpi so i guess in this all these different kpi fields async would also have been loaded up here add new reports from the process hq sites now this is also a very requested feature i still remember the time when when appian came for a visit in our company and they were showing the process hq like see these are the new features of the process hq one question was very prominent in the discussion that whether can we add the process hq tabs directly into our in our sites as well because user has to go to the process queue which is a different and interfaces are different but now they have finally added this in this new verse for example let's say like you have a site something like library management system you have multiple types as well present here if you go in the process hq type basically you will see that whatever we used to see in the process hq these things have been directly added up here in the site itself so here you can see process hq and you can see this is a completely familiar dashboard these things used to show us differently in the process hq tab here but now you can add this as a component directly on the site itself any report that you want to view any other details that you want to configure directly you can configure from here as well for example if you want to create a new report it will also get created directly in the site itself you don't have to leave the site at all see all these record types are there and users can directly access the process hq from the site itself so you don't have to do anything you just have to go in the site and here you can see that if you go to the edit option in the process hq here you have one more type like process hq is present up here so here you just have to configure the process hq and that's it done all the contents from the library will directly show up here so it just depends on the requirement whether you want to show everything or the report part but as of now i guess everything is showing up here i'm not sure like if we have a separate report that can be added so that i have not explored yet but as of now it only shows reports and dashboard libraries so complete library it is importing as of now so that was about the major changes of the interfaces guys now let's move to the next important part that is the auto scale processes the start process smart service has already got a lot of changes maybe at some point you don't even need a sub process because everything is now a start process smart service itself is doing there and it is doing in a much optimized way as well so let's see that a start process smart service so let's say that there is a process model calculation which is there now here in this calculation you are doing sum of two numbers 100 plus 120 or any complex calculation you are doing now you want that output in the start process you are using somewhere you want that output in the parent process what you will do here so you have to configure as this process as a synchronous process because if you configure as async process you can't get the output because async process doesn't wait for the process to get completed you have to configure sync process here and in the sync you have to select the output because earlier it cannot be selected but i guess here we can select that in the result parameter and here in the process info pv and result click on ok so whatever is happening in that particular process all the output will to see in this process just like a typical sub process part it has been added here if you want to see the process instance see this has got a new change if you click on the process instance it will not open your dialog box instead it will open you the monitor view directly from here you can monitor your process instances as of now so this dialog box feature have been removed it has actually been added with monitor type which makes sense as well because everything you are able to see in the monitor type anyway so you can see here this process got completed and here you will be able to see the data as 120 you go in the history earlier it was zero now it become 120 in the parent process even though the changes are happening in the sub processing so that is one important part
the next important part here is process instances opening in monitoring view that we have already seen better errors and notification emails have also been added up here so error handling has been optimized here now let's move to the intelligent document processing unfortunately the complete document processing part is not added at all in the community version it is only available for advanced and premium tiers as of now but we can still see in the release highlights like what has been the new feature so you can see here search queries have been added up here so you can save multiple search query for example here in this example you can see one covid 19 sort uh, report card was added here when was the first dose second dose so here you can see some questions they have added up here like who is the manufacturer of second dose here what is the lot number of the first dose and here you can see the results are populated these are the new features which has been added as part of the intelligent document processing so we can use the query as well for processing and these things that we have added up here so it will be available as a smart service in the process model as well that's what like this is added up here an important part has been added up here in the document types now it supports not only the pdf documents but, but you can upload tiff jpg and png document formats has also been added up here so these are the important parts for the intelligent document processing now some deprecations have happened some more deprecations were there but for our development purpose one deprecation has been added which is in the report side page instead of that we have seen that in the site you cannot find any reports as of now instead of that process hq have been added directly here because process hq means basically reporting itself so you don't need to create typical reports as uh, save the interface as reports and then add up here you can directly refer the process hq as well so whatever you have configured it will still work because appian has backward capability but uh, from now onwards you cannot configure anything new so that wraps up our overview for the appian 25.3 release notes so it has been packed with lot of ai enhancements data fabric changes process model changes to help you build faster smarter and scalable solutions so we will try to continue to make more tutorials related to the new features and how can we create a POC which are ready for the 25.3 versions as well. So that was all for now guys. Thanks for all the support. Thank you.